All right, guys, so we're leaving my hometown of Greenfield, Indiana. Um, we're currently on the road um, getting to the interstate so we can go to Cleveland, Ohio. So next stop probably isn't Cleveland, but we'll probably make, we'll probably make a, a poop stop before then, but Cleveland, here we come. What's up guys, we're at uh, Columbus, Ohio, here at uh, the nicest Wendy's of all time. Like, this place is freaking awesome. Way better than anything we've got um, in Indianapolis. Um, so yeah, we're now, how many miles into Ohio about, Drew? Uh, we have two and a half hours left. Two and a half hours left on the trip to Cleveland. Um, going to Drew's neck of the woods. Um, so yeah, see you there. All right, guys, so we just passed through LeBron's hometown, and uh, we're about a half hour away from uh, Drew's house, um, so we, uh, we've almost made it. This is hour number five in the car, almost there. All right, so we made it to Drew's house, and we're sitting here about to unload, so we made it. We're at the beach, and now we're not because it sucks. Right, so Drew brought me to the Cleveland Cavaliers store, and it makes me want to vomit everywhere. So we finally made it to the Rock Hall. Uh, Drew kind of got us lost, but we eventually got here. Now let's find the Metallica stuff. All right, so I just saw Cliff Burton's bass guitar and it was a religious experience for me. This trip has been amazing. All right, guys, here is the Metallica exhibit. This is, this may be the most amazing moment of my life. This is awesome. All right, guys, so we just finished at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, as you can see right there. Um, now we're off to uh, the Melt Bar and Grilled. For, uh, it's the home of the Grilled Cheese Melt Challenge, as seen on uh, Man vs. Food. Um, we're not going to do the challenge, but it should be a lot of fun to be there anyway. It's going to be some good food, right, Drew? Yeah. All uh, right, you heard it here. All right, so we're here at Melt, and this sandwich is enormous. Um, you're going to be partaking in this sandwich. Welcome to Cleveland. All right, so we made it to Canton. We're at the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and this is another religious experience for me. This is, um, I, I'm not exactly sure how to put this into words yet, so, um, yeah, we'll, it out. We'll, get, we'll get some pictures here. All right, so I'm listening to a play call here in Canton um, at the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and uh, the helmets are, uh, they're pretty small, they're pretty snug. All right, so we're entering the, uh, the bust room here in Canton. This is where everybody's face 
that's been enshrined stays forever. The amount of greatness in this room is it's unbelievable. It's, it's incredible. The history of, of these guys on the wall is magnificent. All right, guys, I just got back from the Apple store. Um, the reason you didn't hear back last night after we went to the Pro Football Hall of Fame is my phone was busted to hell. Um, there will be a picture on the screen of that. Uh, but I got a new one, and I'm going to be heading back on the Greyhound bus uh, tonight um, in a couple hours. So until then, deuces. So All right, something I forgot, guys, is Drew and I dropped a hot fire track last night. It's the safety wrap. JY and the DM kid. All right, so we are leaving Menor, and we are going to the Greyhound station in Cleveland. Um, I'm all packed up and uh, ready to go home. All right, so Drew and I are still on the way to Cleveland, but on the interstate we saw this dude driving in an Impala, um, and he was swerving all over the place. He looked like he was drunk, and mind you, it's four in the afternoon. It was a little early for that, but anyway, he was driving way the hell fast and passed us, and he was way ahead of us, and we just passed him. He was pulled over and probably getting arrested, and it was the greatest thing. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It was funny. All right, I'm on the bus. Going to Toledo, then going home to uh, to Indianapolis. So I made it to Toledo, and my change went very smoothly. I got off the bus and literally found my uh, other driver within about three seconds. I didn't even have to go inside. So, off to Indianapolis. All right, so we made it to Fort Wayne. Uh, over halfway home. About two and a half hours, and I think one more stop. And uh, back to the Circle City.